what should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also to private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? Am I on their mind? So think of a person and we will ask spirit. Spirit, for the viewer, the person that they are thinking of. Are they also on this person's mind, please? Are they on this person's mind? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got the Ace of Rods, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Temperance card, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Rods. Within this reading, we see love, we see passion, and we most certainly see that you are on their mind. Indeed, I would say that you are heavily on their mind, to the point that they may even have wondered if you have conjured some magic upon them. Of course, you have not, because there is no need. It is your natural and beautiful energy that magnetizes them to you. They may feel that you attract many, and not just for your physical looks, but also for your nurturing energy. You may be an empath, and therefore are very sensitive and kind towards others. And I believe that this person is similar to you. I see this with the Six of Pentacles. From the illustration on the card, we can see that this is mirrored energy. What we see above, we see below. I believe that this person picks up on the similarities between the both of you and sees this as a gift. The Six of Pentacles traditionally is known as a card of giving and receiving and of things being in balance. The Temperance card also speaks of this balance. It is like you harmonize and complement one another beautifully. Your love language may be their love language. And you both totally get one another. No explanations needed. I feel like this Four of Cups is past energy. Life experiences that you may both have in common. Others that have maybe taken you for granted. For those that this reading resonates with, then these cards seem to be indicating to me that this person and you will never take one another for granted. It has a very fresh and youthful feeling to it. And I don't believe that that has anything to do with age. Rather, the energy between the two of you. With the Ace of Rods and the Knight of Rods, there is a lot of passion and chemistry. And this relationship is going to continue to move forward. The Ace of Rods is often seen as a phallic symbol. And without being crude, we can see that this garden is well looked after. When this person thinks of you, it is with a combination of feelings. Yes, there is this beautiful love. There is the desire. There is an understanding of life experiences. And I think because of that, there is a certain gentleness in the way that they express their love to you. With the Six of Pentacles, they understand you. And with the Temperance, you are always on their mind. This is very caring and sweet energy. You both have this. This feels like a very committed and long-term relationship. Let us have a look at the potential outcome. Spirit, can we have a look at the potential outcome, please, between these two sweet people? Lovely, lovely energy, please. What is the potential outcome, please? The potential outcome between the two. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got the Emperor, the Lovers, Strength, and the Nine of Blades. Three of these being Major Arcana. I had said that this felt very long-term and committed. This particular strength card we can see is the femur bone, the strongest bone in the human body and the one least likely to break. 
hence showing the potential for a long-term relationship. We have this beautiful lover's card. And for those that have seen me read before with this particular deck, you will note that I often say that I love how this heart has been opened like a cadaver and that we can see into the very chambers. It offers a very unique perception, one that others do not normally get to see. And that is how I feel that this relationship is. It is open and it is vulnerable. And you get to see one another in a way that no one else does. With the strength and the love coming out together, this is indicating that over time, this love is only going to grow stronger. Something that I had picked up on when I had said that this love felt ever youthful and fresh. I do not believe that either of you will tire of the other. We see the pepper vines growing on the emperor here, suggesting that there is going to be continual growth between the two. And what do we think of when we hear peppers? We think of spice. So not only will the love grow deeper, but you will not lose the spark and the magnetism between the both of you. The last card here is very apt. The question that we had originally asked is, am I on their mind? The Nine of Swords is known for a card of overthinking. And as I had pointed out with the Temperance card, that I felt that you were always on their mind. This is indeed confirmation. You are always on their mind and you always will be to this person. You are going to be the absolute love of their life and vice versa. I have two very special readings that are available to you. One is a private Valentine's reading and the other is where I offer private same day readings. The links to both of these readings are in my bio.